Chapter 544, Disappearance. 90 Steps. In the midst of a two imperial descendants moment of sadness, Dian Wun Hui had already taken the 90th step. Breaking 100 is not a problem. Dian Wun Hui was not struggling at all with his pace, so the ghosts were extremely excited. Even the titanic crescent sacred ground secretly bemoaned his talents. Their descendant was too far from reaching Dian Wun Hui's level, especially when it came to their downside. Li Kai saw Dian Wun Hui take 90 steps and smiled before declaring, Interesting, my turn to catch up. He then placed his foot into the pond. After Li Kai entered, Lan Yunzu began counting right away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fortunately, she was ready this time and was able to keep up with his pace. Li Kai has entered. His entrance into the pond quickly attracted the attention from the ghosts. Can he catch Sir Yan Lun Hui? Seeing his quick pace left the ghost expert nervous. HMPH, Sir Yan Lun Hui is the strongest genius of our race. Even if Li Kai catches up, he still might not be able to beat Sir Yan Lun Hui. The last person to persevere is the winner. There is nothing great about being able to walk so fast. This ghost cultivator only made it halfway before shutting his mouth. 90th step. Amidst the anxiety building up within these ghost cultivators, Li Kai had already taken 90 steps, shutting up the ghost cultivators who held him in disdain. They couldn't even swallow their words in time. Is this brat still a human? Even an old undying from the ghost race cursed in his mind. In an instant, Li Kai had caught up to Tian Lun Hui, inside the pond. Li Kai looked at him in the distance. Li Kai then commented, Incredible talents. To be able to study the origin grand down of the ghost race means that you are qualified to become an immortal emperor. Alas, it is a misfortune that you were born in the same era as me. I have seen your grand Dao. Now it is your turn to watch. Having said that, a bright light suddenly flashed as if it was the grand Dao blooming, like a caterpillar metamorphosing into a butterfly. Li Kai then went deeper into the pond as if he was blessed by a god. His speed was as fast as if he were flying. Li Kai was too fast so Tian Lun Hui couldn't stop himself from looking with his heavenly gaze. After seeing the expansion of Li Kai's grand Dao, his expression greatly changed for he had lost his composure. On the other shore, Tian Lun Hui studied the grand Dao and had an initial form in his mind. He didn't know that Li Kai had also learned a unique grand Dao and had created its initial form as well. This grand Dao was much further along than Tian Lun Hui's own. 111, 112, 113. Lan Yunzu was falling behind with her counting since Li Kai became faster and faster to the point of no comparison. At this time, it was no longer one step surpassing one world in the pond. Each of his steps brought about his own world. The pond's water no longer obstructed his steps. He was dragging the pond along. Each of his steps created a new world in the pond. Now, he was the creator of worlds instead of the pond. He had reversed the primary and secondary relationship below his feet since he had now dominated the evolving transformations of the pond. At this moment, even Tian Lun Hui stood still. A mysterious aura encompassed his body so one couldn't see his expression, but he was silent without the all-grasping style he previously displayed. Meanwhile, the ghost race fell into complete despair. Li Kai had shattered the pride of the ghosts as he drifted like he was flying inside the pond, completely leaving Tian Lun Hui behind. Before, they still had some hope of Tian Lun Hui beating Li Kai, but now, even if Tian Lun Hui could take the 100th step, he would still be unable to defeat Li Kai. The eventual victor was too apparent. At the same time, a murderous glint as cold as mist appeared in the phoenix maiden's eyes. She recognized the dangerous existence that is Li Kai and placed him as the number one enemy of her husband. Li Kai was no longer a simple, budding threat. She felt that without eradicating Li Kai, her husband definitely would not have the chance to shoulder the heaven's will. It was not because of a lack of confidence in her husband, but because Li Kai was too frightening and devilish. She realized that there would be no peace unless Li Kai was annihilated. She trusted her intuition since it had always been on point. At this moment, she thought of many different plans to destroy Li Kai no matter the price. She had to eliminate her husband's number one enemy. 150. At the 150th step, Lan Yunzu suddenly paused and hesitated since she couldn't count any longer. This was because Li Kai had disappeared. Even when she utilized her heavenly gaze to its limit, she still couldn't see his figure. Gone. Why can't I see through it? It wasn't only Lan Yunzu. Others also lost sight of Li Kai. The heavenly gaze lost its effect after the 150th step. What happened? The limit of the heavenly gaze is 150 steps? At this time, the gazes of ancient saints, heavenly sovereigns, and even the old undyings failed. There is also another possibility. A ghost expert thought of the worst case scenario and said, maybe Li Kai has failed just like the bronze tree ancestor that had disappeared. Ha ha. If one forces their way in without having sufficient capabilities, then they will disappear and die without a corpse. With this reminder, many felt that this was very possible. Li Kai's sudden disappearance could be attributed to his failure just like several great characters earlier. A fate of dying without the body remaining. This was him seeking his own death and for thinking that he was really invincible. Walking like flying? Now it is over. He even lost his own life. The ghost race thought of this possibility and gloated from others' misfortune. Meanwhile, the great characters remained silent. They didn't know what was going on but were secretly hoping for this to be the case. In their eyes, Li Kai was too devilish. In the future, once Li Kai's wings hardened, he would be a huge threat for the ghost race unless they made peace with him. However, in the sacred nether world, the ghost race was the master. So how could they bow down to a little human? This was why all the great characters and ancestors hoped for Li Kai's true disappearance. This was perhaps the best outcome. What a shame. The prime ominous key has been lost. We will just have to wait for the next generation for the key to appear again. A ghost cultivator lamented, but it was still said with a gloating tone. Or there is another possibility. At this point, the Jade Water Queen used her divine reflection and calculated, 
the divine reflection of the charming spirits was extremely heaven-defying, especially one of an unfathomable spirit like the queen. No one knew the level of her divine reflection. She pondered for a while and said, Perhaps Li Kai doesn't want others to see the profundities of his grand Tao so he is hiding in the pond. Perhaps it is no longer the pond ruling over Li Kai, but it is he who has control over the pond. Li Kai's steps were creating worlds. They were no longer the pond's worlds. Compared to the other ghosts, Dian Lun Hui appeared to be calm, not happy or proud. He kept on using his heavenly gaze to scan the water surface, hoping to find traces of Li Kai. At this moment, he was no longer in a mood for competition because Li Kai's grand Tao had shaken his mind. Dian Lun Hui had studied the origin grand Tao of the ghost race, but it seemed as if Li Kai's grand Tao was even more heaven defying, so much so that it escaped the boundaries of grand Tao. This was why Dian Lun Hui wished to see Li Kai's grand Tao once more, aiming to see through its mysteries in hopes that he might learn something from it. Unfortunately, regardless of his efforts, he couldn't see Li Kai's shadow. In fact, on the other shore, the Grand Dao Li Kai learned from observing the Nine Ants had escaped the boundaries of Grand Dao. Because of this, it was understandable that Dian Lun Hui would be dumbstruck. It had to be said that Dian Lun Hui was an amazing and discerning genius. With just a glance, he instantly understood that Li Kai's Grand Dao was marvelous. Meanwhile, the Phoenix Maiden sighed in relief with Li Kai's disappearance. Similar to the great characters, she also hoped for Li Kai's disappearance and death. It would save her a lot of trouble if he met his demise in the pond. This brat is the most devilish person I have ever seen. Long Zunshan said as he stared intensely at the pond, as the most brilliant genius of the previous generation. He was not like the other ghosts who believed that Li Kai had died. Lan Yunzu couldn't help but hold her breath. In this place, she was the only person who cared for Li Kai's safety. She had seen him create many miracles, but his sudden disappearance still made her worry. Despite her confidence in him, this emotion was unsuppressible. 